We're interviewing State uh, Representative Roberto Alonso and his wife, Silvana Alonso, and we're going to be talking to them regarding uh, the walkout of Crystal City in 1969. Uh, Roberto and Silvana, how old were you on December of 1969? Roberto, first. About 13 years old. 13 years old. Silvana? I was six years old. Six years old. How did you perceive the walkout at that age? Silvana, how, how, what did you think of the walkout when you were six years old? I thought it was very awesome. Okay. It was exciting. Okay. And that's how I perceived it at that age. Are you Roberto? Um, I, I saw a lot of things going on. Um, all of a sudden we were asked to come out of the schools and we're out for three weeks. Uh, every day we'd get up and march in front of the school and go to El Campestre. Uh, then uh, during the Christmas holidays, we were being taught uh, by people that came in from out of town on their trees. And it was just a, a lot of activity, a lot of activity going on. Silvana, did you get to go to those classes? I don't remember. Okay. So I, you, I don't remember at all. Okay, um, what change came about as a, as a result of the walkout? Go ahead. Uh, well, uh, the initial, part of the initial discussion, debate, encouragement for the walkout was that, uh, for the way I recall it is, for you to be a homecoming queen, one of your parents had to have graduated from high school. Uh, that meant that practically no Chicana, Mexican, young lady would be a homecoming queen. Uh, but as time went on, uh, you know, there was more being asked besides being a homecoming queen. We wanted Mexican American teachers, Mexican American studies, bilingual education, uh, being able to go to college, having a teacher there were Mexican American principals, uh, just a whole bunch of things. And uh, I think what happened uh, as a result, uh, first, uh, we were out for three weeks and we didn't get punished. Uh, we encouraged that the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want. Uh, uh, when I graduated from high school after the walkout, which was 1975, 90% uh, of the kids were admitted into college and got scholarships. And since then, uh, if you're from Cristal, you can do whatever you want. You're usually the leader, you're the state rep, you're the PTA, you're the school board, you're the city council, you're the head of a nonprofit. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can do everything you want. So it, it I think it showed that that uh, Cristal folks knew that they could do anything they want. Silvana, you said Cinco de Mayo coordinator. What else do you see changes that came about after that? The ch the changes that I experienced personally were my immediate family, my mother, uh, for example, my parents, both of them. Um, studied and got their GEDs. They, my father studied a trade and my mother was hired as a teacher assistant wow. and where she worked at Crystal City ISD for at least 30 years. So I also saw, I remember a, a person in my life that was very important, my grandmother, Sulema. Um, she was uh, a politiquera. I participated with her in getting out the vote in elections. Uh, of course, I was, by that time, I was like 10 or 8 or 9 and she, I'd go with her. And then my grandmother also received her GED, which I didn't know, learn until two, last year. And she was one of the first um, visiting teachers, which I think today are community liaisons for the school district. That's awesome. That was a big accomplishment for my grandmother.